guest tonight is one of my heroes. He's a country music legend with countless songs, awards, and hair ties to his name. His latest book, Willie Nelson's Letters to America, is available now. Please welcome Willie Nelson. <laughs> I'm great, how are you doing? I'm good, it's so good to see you. Uh, I miss Texas, I'm jealous that you're there right now. Yeah, it's great, it's a little warm, but you know, I like it that way. Yeah, well, um, I just, I'm so happy you're here. You're actually my first ever guest to interview while hosting this, so thank you for breaking the ice with me. <laughs> Uh, I remember I actually met you for the first time at the Maui Songwriters Festival a couple years ago, very briefly, at Danny's house. And um, it was just such an amazing night because you got up and played with Lucas and Micah. And uh, I remember Steven Tyler got up and played. It, it was sort of like living in a, an LSD trip of some sort. <laughs> <laughs> but such a beautiful place. Um, so how many... I know that you've had this weekly poker night going for quite a long time, um, especially on Maui, and you have a few guests that are regulars. Woody Harrelson is one of them. How many years have you played each other? Oh, God, I don't know. Uh, 20, 30 years, probably. Wow, that is incredible. And I, I read in your book um, over here on the plane that you actually mention Woody's wing in your house. Um, why do you call it that? Did he like move in with you or something? Well, you know, we play poker until late, you know, and uh, usually uh, if he's $100 down, he wants to spend the night so he can start <laughs> over again the next day. I also read that Owen Wilson and Woody have lost so much money to you over the years that you've also dedicated that wing to the house because they helped pay for it. <laughs> well, that's a good story. Let's, let's, say, let's say it's true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love it. Um, so I actually opened for you a couple years ago at Santa Barbara Bowl, and it was just such an amazing night, and you got um, all the openers up afterwards to sing um, On the Road Again as your last song. And I kind of learned when I was on stage, just on your stage, that you don't really keep a set list. You have a clock on stage that tells you how much time you have left. And then um, I actually, this is creepy and I apologize, but I, I kept what you did have as a set list and this is what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I love, I love that you don't have any like list of songs. You just kind of go at random and your band just follows you. I think that's amazing. Well, it's easy to do because I know, you know, I know all the songs, the band knows them forward and backward, and it would be almost impossible to throw them a curve because, you know, we play together so much, they know what I'm going to do. And uh, it's, it's just pretty easy to do it without a, you know, without a real set list. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, so I actually had a baby recently, or in the last year or so, and I know that you've brought your children out on the road um, for years as you've toured. Do you have any advice for bringing a baby on a tour bus and what that might look like? Well, uh, you know, all my career, I've had kids on the bus. You know, they, they grow up, to, you know, to be pickers themselves. And uh, most of them have wound up out on the stage with me, singing with me every night. So it's just really been a big you know, joy to have your kids with you, especially when you're gone as much as I am gone. Right. No, I love so much that you've incorporated and just collaborated with them over the years. And Lucas has always been so lovely to me when we're out on the same festivals together. So you've raised them right. So I'll just take it from you, however you've brought those boys up. <laughs> Um, so, in your book, you wrote a letter to young songwriters, amongst other things that we'll get to later, but you said um, to the young songwriters, quit while you're ahead, <laughs> which I love. You know, that's easier, easier said than done. Yeah. Uh, you know, being an old poker player, I know that don't always happen. Right. 
And I also love that you said, if you quit that easily, you didn't deserve that talent to begin with, which is also an amazing piece of advice. <laughs> Just keep going. Um, one of my favorite parts of the book, and it's all letters to, you write letters to your children, you write letters to America, but my favorite line from the book, just as a Texan, um, is your letter to COVID. And the first line of it is, you, and as we say in Texas, that goes for the horse you rode in on. That's, yeah, that's pretty much the way we feel about it down here. Yeah, same. Um, I, I know I live in Tennessee now, but I'll always be a Texas girl at heart. And you are such, such a heartbeat of that, um, of my upbringing and until now. So um, thank you so much. And I know you, you've had such an illustrious career. You've crossed so many genres, um, The Highwaymen, Ray Charles. You've just done so many incredible things in your career. And I am just like fangirling right now, but I, um, I know that you also have your cannabis line, Willie's Reserve, um, and they have been kind enough to send us goodies anytime that I've played Red Rocks in the past. So they've, <laughs> they've, they've helped us out for sure. Um, I had an idea though, if you ever do collaborations on a strain, because I would call my collab with Willie's Reserve, Mare I Wanna. <laughs> That's good, I'll, I'll steal that. Okay, you'll steal it. Well, um, are you going on the road again anytime soon? Well, we just finished a tour uh, up in Minnesota, Dakotas, and Illinois, and uh, almost seven or eight cities. And we got another couple of dates to do here in Austin coming up in the next week or so. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll start out again in August. Yeah. Well, I. <laughs> yes. It's. It's just amazing. I know it's been hard on a lot of, well, everybody in the world, but especially those who just love to bring people together on the road. And you have obviously done that your entire life. And I'm sure you're eager to get back on the road, as we all are. But thank you so much, Willie, for being my first ever guest. Thank you. I'm glad you're a high woman. And stay with them. They're a great group. Thank you. Tell Annie I said hi. Uh, Willie Nelson's Letters to America is available now. We'll be right back with Megan Stalter. <laughs>